Uh, we want to encourage debate, but bear that in mind uh, should you wish to speak as well as intervene. Uh, and I now call Stephanie Peacock. Mr. Pritchard, it is a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship and to follow the Honourable Lady for, in, what, in which was a passionate speech. And I'd like to congratulate the Honourable Lady on securing this really important debate. Special educational needs and disability funding is an issue of deep concern for many of my constituents. As a former teacher, I have seen firsthand the value of specialist support for children and young people with special educational needs. As an MP, I have heard countless stories of frustration and disappointment from parents who only want the best for their children. I want to talk today about how, how those with special educational needs and disabilities are being let down, excluded and denied education opportunities through a lack of funding. Right now, parents and pupils have to navigate a fragmented and overstretched system to get the SEND provision they desperately deserve. Too many children are being left behind without support due to delayed and out-of-date education, health and care plans. In Barnsley, some have had to wait over 33 weeks. Whilst this may not be the norm and the borough does perform above average, far too many families face long and trying delays. This obviously has a knock-on, life-changing effect. Recently, a parent told me that their child's place at a specialist school was denied due to an out-of-date plan. This is in spite of the fact that they made multiple requests to have it updated over a three-year period. Another constituent's 10-year-old child was excluded for bad behaviour at school whilst waiting for an EHC assessment that would, which, which would identify him as needing additional support. And those pupils that do attend school can struggle to get through the day. I've heard distressing stories of children left bruised and scratched from being forcibly restrained. Inappropriate use of restraint is never a solution. Adding to this, off-rolling... This is a disgraceful practice of removing <coughs> students from the school role, not because of legitimate concerns relating to behaviour. Rather, students are removed from school because they are seen as likely to perform poorly in exams, impacting on school performance figures. I know of an academy that has temporarily excluded nearly a quarter of pupils in the 2017-18 academic year. The competitive system of schooling and Ofsted framework have led to a culture whereby difficult pupils are excluded rather than managed. Would the Honourable Lady give way? Of course. I thank the Honourable Lady for giving way and for raising the issue of exclusions, particularly when it comes to academies. In Luton alone, school exclusions have shockingly tripled in the last five years, and many of these excluded children are uh, children with special educational needs. And this risks some of the most vulnerable children in society being further exposed to isolation or criminal elements. Would the Honourable Lady agree that exclusion should only ever be the last resort, not at all to manage overall performance of a school or due to lack of funding? I thank the Honourable Lady for her really important point. She is absolutely right that it is completely clear that something needs to be done to keep children supportive and safe learning environments. And it's clear... Um, that when uh, it's clear that when uh, pupils are uh, are excluded, um, the numbers are just simply far too high, and we've seen that in my own local area. But having met with Barnsley Council and I have an ongoing dialogue with them, they do seem very genuine in their attempts to deal with the situation, and I welcome the Barnsley Alliance Education and Improvement Strategy. However, the, lo the efforts of local councils across the country are limited by overstretched budgets and chronic underfunding. Many of the challenges within the SEND system currently can't be met within the current allocation of high-needs funding. Sadly, a significant proportion of council high-needs budget is spent sending children and young people to out-of-borough referral units or schools. Vulnerable children are being forced to leave their friends from school and commute further afield to access the support they need. Across the country, children are out of school for months, sometimes years, because of the lack of local SEM provision and specialist school places. This is a direct consequence of not having the funds to provide SEM support locally. This massive commitment of local authority resources has, less SEM team, has left SEM teams short-staffed, which in turn has left families waiting months, if not years, to have their children's needs assessed and a support plan agreed upon. It is an indictment on the whole system that vulnerable children are being neglected, excluded and without the assistance they need to succeed in life. With rising demands for special educational needs and disability support, councils across the country are facing a shortfall in excess of a billion pounds by 2021. 
in areas like Barnsley, funding for special educational needs has simply not kept pace with the increasing demand and increased expectations of provision. The current and proposed high need funding allocations are simply not enough. Schools and local authorities need resources to ensure that vulnerable children are given the best start in life. It is clear that everyone's best interests are served by increasing funding to support SEND provision locally, as well as a more accountable and less bureaucratic SEND system. Right now, children with special educational needs and their parents are being left behind without the funding or support they deserve. We need action urgently.